पीस पोएम बाय स्वामी विवेकानंद बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट लेट इज टॉक अबाउट इज स्वामी विवेकानंद कोच वी आर वॉट अवर थॉट्स हैव मेड इज सो टेक केयर अबाउट वॉट यू थिंक वर्ड्स आर सेकेंडरी थॉट्स लिव द ट्रेवल फॉर एन कोच so another quote i would like to share with you do rely on him be like the dry leaf at the mercy of the wind it is so relevant for us to talk about at this situation because we are suffering from the covid 19 and uh, we are just have a mercy of the god himself because we are all became as a dry leaf we supposed to live on the mercy of the covid that is what uh, it is a uh, relevant for the situation let's move on to the poem what swami vivekananda is talking about in the, in his poem the peace so uh, i will go through with the poem uh, the text i will read out behold it comes in might the power that is not power the light that is in darkness the shade in the dazzling light it is joy that never spoke and grief unfelt profound immortal life unlived eternal death unmount it is not joy nor sorrow but that which is between it is not night not tomorrow but that which joins them in it is sweet rest in music and pause in sacred art the silence between the speaking between two fits of passion it is the calm of heart it is beauty never seen and love that stands alone it is song that leaves unsung and knowledge never known it is death between two lives and lull between two stars the void wins rose creation and that where it returns to it the tear drop goes to spread the smiling form conclusion it is the goal of life and peace it's only home so let's have a look at the introduction part of this poem after the reading of the wonderful poem Uh, Swami Vivekananda 1863 to 1902 was an Indian Hindu monk and a key figure in the introduction of Indian philosophies of Vedanta and yoga to the western world. He was one of the most influential philosophers and a social reformer in his contemporary India and the most successful and influential missionaries of Vedanta to the western world. About poem So let's begin with the uh, stanza wise explanations behold it comes in might the power that is not power the light that is in darkness the shade in dazzling light so in this paragraph the speaker is talking about the some people are good observers on the other hand so people are not able to see peace even it is present power that lies within us will not be power till we realize it and use it or if we don't know how to use it the light that is in darkness speaks of people's attitude in despair and our pride should not shine when we have power so peace is when we realize our power our abilities our capabilities and responsibilities and go towards that path of light in a second paragraph it is joy that never spoke and grief unfelt profound immortal life unlived eternal death unmount in this stanza the author is speaking of we have achieved a small success and big success are failures that don't matter anymore if it is success hard work spoke in silence and did not make us unhappy but man has not learned to live without failures 
we kill bad things our bad habits which brings unmount eternal death eternal death is a death of all our sins evil inside us example anger greed hatred then peace enters in the form of joy as it is it continues like this it is not joy nor sorrow but that which is between it is not night not morrow but that which joins them in there are times that are happy times and time full of sadness and there are some more time like that in past and future present connects them both are important because we will not know joy if we don't understand sorrow peace is not nothingness peace is completely what we can do in our present condition it is sweet rest in music and pause in sacred art the silence between speaking between two fits of passion it is the calm of art so in this paragraph in this stanza inner beauty is not seen there are many events in our life which we hide from others our struggles and weaknesses that is never known and it is good if people don't know about our weakness this is when we learn to love ourselves by finding ourselves it is that between two lives and lull between two storms the void winds rose creation and what that way it returns in this stanza speaker speaks we live two lives every day one is our inner world and one is just a shadow of which wears masks peace is when truth remains this truth may be of true or unsatisfying truth when we see things in our world through eyes our thoughts makes them ugly and beautiful and returns to our eyes as beautiful and ugly example just like karma it returns back to it the tear drop goes to spread the smiling form it is the goal of life and peace it's only home in this stanza the speaker is speaking when doing something for others helping others makes us happy sacrifice for others gives happiness example mothers caring for their young ones spreading happiness gives us peace when our smile comes back to us when we smile at others we have reached our home people are also helping us without need and caring about us without anything in return everyone wants peace so it is said that peace is goal of life so that's about the summary of the poem now let's have a look on the multiple choice questions who is the author of peace poem swami vekananda shata devi ramakrishna paramahamsa mahapatra swami vekananda uh, what is peace in first paragraph of the poem light par darkness responsibility it's a light eternal death is death of all sins joy greed anger that is a death of all sins what is the goal of life peace happiness joy sacrifice that's peace the poem talks about dash inner peace material things joy happiness talks about inner peace 